Okay, so one of the advantages of uh, USD is it gives you the ability to create uh, in purpose an asset uh, for specific uses. In this case, composition arcs, uh, we're going to be using in order to create different variants of a model. For that, uh, first thing I want to do is create a stage, add to stage, see, uh, create a proxy shape, shape one. Now I'm going to create a new definition. This one I'm going to call it uh, pod. Uh, asset in this case because it's going to have different type of variants and different type of things uh, one thing you want to make sure when it, it sets to default so, but this one's going to be the one uh, we're going to be using for rendering so by default it's set to proxy so you want to check both for the moment so you see everything otherwise you won't see the result on screen so now that we have done that we're going to create a new variant set the variant set, I'm going to call it pod underscore vars for variance, and I'm going to select my pod underscore off, which is the one by default. Now, from here, I'm going to create a new children, and this children is going to be my very first pod. So, pod underscore off is the name of this one, um, and I'm going to copy this information from the, from the variant set back into the variant set name then again the selection just going back to here so now that you've seen this um, basically that you set this up you now can see in the outliner that it has a new icon as a V for composition act variant if I right click you'll see it appears right over here now it's a new variant set so now what we need to do is start bringing in uh, a reference uh, or a reference definition. Why are we using a reference definition? Because we want to be able to change uh, without you know, uh, breaking anything, so non-destructively. So now that we've done this, um, now we can pretty much make sure, um, let's go find that asset, see it's over here. So we see some textures in this case. Uh, so now what we can do is just bring the rest of the variants in. You either can copy and paste this for your convenience, and then just change these, for example, to on. Go find that on port and pipe that in. So now I have the ability again to see different variants, but on, but off. You see there was a slight change. Let's go back again. Slight change, a different object. Yeah, and finally I can bring one more variant. And you can store as many as you will, as you want. In this case, it's going to be an open version of the pod. And again, all I need to do is go into the layer. Oh, I think I I broke that. So let me fix it. And now you will see you have the three variants, off, on, open. The open version, on, and off. Okay, so one last thing now. I'm going to bring in another children from the pod asset, in this case, another USD frame. And I'm going to call this pod underscore proxy. In this case, instead of default, I'm going to set it to proxy. Uh, no variant sets, no need for that. So 
I'm going to create an, another reference definition. Goes back to the top. Another layer. And I'm going to go find that proxy file. Okay. Okay, now that I have done this, I can go back into the outliner, select this guy here. If I go to the attribute editor, you will see I have the ability to uncheck that and see just a proxy version of it. So now I have my full versions, which I can see in different versions. And I also have the ability to see just a proxy shape on screen. Now let's have a closer look at the anatomy of this particular asset setup inside of Bifrost. As you can see, recapping, we have the pod asset that we created first, then we created variant sets, another child, uh, one children for proxy, and one children for renders. The proxy, we created another X form where we reference in, in the proxy. Then for this one, we created a pod open, uh, um, X form, reference it in, so on and so forth. That in order for us to see again, or have the ability to see um, this version or that other version. So we could also access different types of variants on the screen. We're doing this so we can optimize, uh, you know, uh, this, the, the way we work and make it more memory efficient as we start adding more and more instances of this specific uh, module of a pod.